What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Josh and I'm here back with another video and in this video we're going to be comparing the three top clippers in the barber industry to this date 2020. Um, I've used all three of these clippers and I have my honest opinion about each one and what I like about uh, one more than I do about the other. So let's hop right into this video. So I showed you guys all the clippers that we're going to be comparing and reviewing. Um, let's just hop into each clipper individually and just talk about it and get to know about the clippers more and the difference between each one. So let's hop right into this video. So the first clipper that we're going to talk about in this video is the Cordless Wall Seniors. Um, this is a clipper that you guys know that I use all the time, a clipper that I highly recommend. It's a very easy, easy fading system, um, very easy clipper to learn and it blends so good takes down bulk super good these or the magic clips will never do you wrong like i don't have anything bad to say about this clipper it lasts a long time i can get through like a lot of heads with these i remember one time i went to a house call i did like six heads i want to say seven but it was like six heads and it lasted all the way down to the last head that's when it started getting weak on me like i had a charger but I was like, you know what? I want to see how much, how, like how long I can go with one clipper, and it, it went down like around like the seventh haircut or the sixth haircut. So I mean, these clippers like a one like these right now are sitting at the top out of all three. Um, my favorite clipper. But let's hop right into another clipper. So the next clipper I'm going to talk about in this video is the Cordless Babless Black FX Clipper. This is the limited edition, state gold edition. Um, and to jump right into it, I'm going to be honest with you guys, this is my least favorite clipper out of all three. I have my reasons. Um, for one, when I'm trying to get a ball line out, it's, it's like very difficult with this. Um, I have it zero gapped, but the way the blade sits when it moves, if I move it too close, it kind of like bounces and it'll cut somebody. So I don't want it that close. And another thing is this lever. I, I'm not a fan of the indentations of the lever because it kind of restricts you to like that area so if i was to put it in this position it's like stuck in that position um and i'm not saying that the clipper doesn't blend good you kind of just have to you finesse it uh, a little bit more you have to work a little bit harder with this clipper um i've done nice haircuts with it don't get me wrong um i've done a lot of good haircuts with this i've used it a couple times in some of my videos on my channel they were good haircuts but i find myself spending more time working on blending with this clipper than most of my other clippers, especially around the ball line area. That's just, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like that. I'm, I'm used to a smooth transition because I like the flow. And when I have my system, when I blend, I have certain areas of my blade that I know is gonna flick that line out. And with this clipper, I'm just not that um, like secure with like, oh yeah, this is gonna blend this line out perfectly. It's like I always have to like work a little bit harder or you pick up another clipper to finish off the haircut when using this clipper. Um, I can't just use this clipper alone, to be honest, when I'm blending out lines. But yeah, overall, this is my least favorite clipper. It's a good clipper though, um, and I don't really think it lasts long when I cut. I can only get like two or three heads in. It seems like with these, it's like two or three heads, and then the light starts blinking. Um, but when the light blinks, I think it is telling you that you have a little bit more time, but like, you know, I need, I need it to be longer than that. And this clipper just doesn't get that for me. So this clipper falls at the bottom of the list when it comes to my least favorite to my most favorite. Last but not least, we have the Cordless Andis Masters. This is a clipper that has been in my arsenal from the beginning, like I said, but the walls were there first. But these were my first clippers, the quarter version. These were the first clippers that I bought with my own money. I saved up like $100 and I ordered them off Amazon. Like I was so hyped to get these clippers. And I used these clippers a lot when I was cutting hair in the beginning stages. I just recently got back on them uh, with the cordless version. This is actually my second pair. I bought one like around the time when the clipper first came out, but I ended up selling it because I was so in love with my walls that I didn't even give these like the time of day. Like I used them probably like a couple times 
and I was like, no, nah, I'm going back to my walls. But, you know, recently, you know, just watching videos about them, and I, I've seen 360 GZ use these a lot in his videos, and like, they were working like perfectly, and people around me were just talking about them, and I was like, dang, I probably need to give them a chance. I probably need to hop back on that, on that wave with the Coilless Masters, and really, like, you know what I'm saying, see what they talking about. And lately, I've been using these every day in the shop while picking up no other clipper, probably like for the last three or four days that I've been in the shop, um, cause I just got these last Monday, and I mean, like these clippers are dope. Like I put the fade blade on them. That's one thing a lot of people always have questions about the fade blade. The fade blade on the on the Andy's clippers, they're too um, thin. So I find myself like getting stuck on people's skin, um, you know, right at their pores. You know, it pulls it, and I don't really like that. So I had to put this um, taper blade back on. And that's one thing that I didn't like about the clippers. I always love the fade blade because I feel like it just you know, it makes a smoother blend. But one thing that I've learned about the fade blade is that it cuts the hair shorter than a taper blade. So when you're using like the wild seniors with the fade blade on it, it's gonna cut closer. So if you're doing like a low mid fade, you wanna keep your guidelines smaller with the mags. I mean, with the masters, you can make bigger guidelines because it has a longer tooth on it. It's gonna uh, leave that darkness for you in your fade. You don't have to worry about going up too high. And then eventually at the end of the haircut, it's all, you know, pushed up too high when it's supposed to be like a drop fade. It looks like a ball fade, you know what I mean? So that's one good thing about these. And I like the guard system. I think that I cut faster with these than I do with my seniors because it has um, fewer, like fewer guards in the system. But um, because this has fewer guards in the system, on this clipper, you have to go from the zero guard to the one guard to the two guard. And that's just three guards. With the walls, you have the half guard, the one guard, the one and a half and the two guard. So that's one guard, you know, that you're not using to make your blends come to life. And I feel like I cut faster with these. Um, one thing about them is that one thing that I, that I didn't really like about this clipper was the fact that the blade is so long. When you're blending out that um that ball line, you can't just close the clippers halfway and blend it out. It's a, it's like a step. It's like there are steps between bald and no guard open with this clipper. You have to close it halfway, and then you have to close it all the way almost, or if you have to, just all the way, and hit the bottom of the line before it blends out all the way. So that's one thing that I didn't like in the beginning because it kind of slowed me down. Um, I think once you have to, I think you have to put yourself in a position to learn, you know what I mean? And just slow down and stop, you know, making everything seem like you have to, you know what I'm saying, speed up or it has to be quicker. Sometimes you have to break it down and learn it and then you appreciate it more. So I've kind of like learned it so it made me quicker at it. So this clipper has become like my second on the list. I, I have to use it a little bit longer. I don't know, it might become number one. I've been using it a lot lately. Like to be honest, like for real, like this is like almost like number one. I've been using it so much. So I'ma see how this goes. And you know, in future videos and my tutorials, I'm gonna let you guys know. I mean, you guys gonna know anyways because I'm gonna be using them in the video. If you see me start using these more in my videos, like I think like these clippers are probably gonna become like my number one. But if not, you know, I'm going back to my wall. So it's a hard debate between these two clippers right now. Like the wall senior and the Andy's masters is very hard for me to pick. I mean, I couldn't tell you which one, but you know, as I go on with my videos and my tutorials, you will see which one I start to use more. And that's the clipper that really, you know, broke through and became number one. And I really love these. I'm telling you guys, like these are, these are dope. You gotta copy one. Um, if I start using these more, I might have to cop two because, you know, I want to use one while I'm cutting and I want to have one on the charger while I'm not, so, so I can like swap them out. And before I forget about this clipper, the um, run time on them is like 90 minutes, I think. Um, to be honest, I got through a lot of heads with this clipper. I find myself cutting with them, like when I fade, when I take down bulk, um, I'm cutting with them. And in between clients, when I'm doing my ball line, I'm not using these, I'm using my trimmers. So I put these on a charger while I'm doing that. Like I try to put these on a charger at every little pause I have to not use them. Like anytime I'm not using these, I'm trying to put this on a charging station and it, it lasted me like all day, like to be honest. Like I think it started blinking on me, but I never had it go completely dead or go red on me. So it, I don't know, I gotta use it more like, 
I don't know because some haircuts are, are, are longer, some haircuts are shorter. You know, you have the tapers, you have the, the fades. If I was doing a lot of fades, I feel like these would go dead quicker. But you know, when I have like tapers, you know, it's quicker for me and I'm just sitting right back on the charger and then I'm doing all my line work. So to be honest, um, I might have to double up on these soon, but I'm gonna use them more to get more like used to them. And I'm gonna let you guys know, you guys gonna know when I use more of my videos. So I'm gonna give you guys a sound test on each one to see which one is louder. Starting off with the Wild Seniors. Here we go. The Wild Seniors not that loud. I mean, it's pretty like, you know, it's like a regular clipper loud. Um, these are like the least, uh, you know what I'm saying, talked about when it comes to loudness. Just very smooth. The next clipper that we're gonna test is the Babless Black Effects. Here we go. These are kinda loud. They're a little bit louder than the Babless, um, but they're not louder than the Masters. So the Masters, I just told myself the Masters is the loudest clipper, but these like go a step up from the uh, Coilless Seniors. This is a little bit louder. So here we have the Masters, the loudest out of all three. Here we go. As you guys can see, that, that one is the loudest. It has a different sound. Um, I, I don't know why, but you know, it's, it's metal too. So it's like, it has like a different sound and it's like more high pitched, but it's actually louder. You can hear the motor actually like turning inside the clipper. So out of all three clippers, the Coilless Master is the loudest. It takes the W. I'm gonna go into pricing next. So let's do that. So the cheapest out of all of them is the Coilless Wild Sears. Um, Right now, the, I think the wall factory is like down since COVID happened, um, they shut the factory down. So I've been going to hair stores, it's been no clippers on the shelf at all. But these clippers were kind of like, I think when they were in stores, they were like 150 or something, like 139, 149. It's somewhere in between like 140 and 170 for these clippers. Um, I want to say it just depends on where you buy them from. I think the cheapest, I could be lying, I don't wanna you know, lie to y'all, but to be honest, these clippers are around like the $150 mark. I just average it at $150, so these clippers are $150. And the most expensive out of all of them are the Cordless Andes Masters. I paid $225 for these. Um, I, I mean, it's a lot of money to be honest, but you know, when you making money cutting hair, you have to invest into yourself. And you'll get that money back, you know what I'm saying? One day cutting hair, you're gonna, you're gonna get that money back. You know, it's just an investment. But always invest in yourself and get good tools. But yeah, these clippers are like 225. So yeah, that's that clipper. And landing right in the middle is the Babless Black FX, right at $200. Like, I think it was like two, um, I forgot, it was like 217 or something after tax. So yeah, the Babless rent, uh, lands right in the middle. Um, the cordless wall seniors, like I said, they average like around 150. These are 200, and the Andes Masters are like 225, 250, depending where you buy them from. So it's about like a $50 gap in between each clipper. So I advise you guys, if you like to try out new clippers, um, neither one of these clippers I would say are bad to try out. You want to find out which clipper works for you the best and that you're most efficient with because that's how you're going to make your money. And you want to build a system where you're cutting hair and you know you're in love with your tools. It just makes the whole process better when you're in love with your tools, when you know your tools. It just makes every haircut have a little bit more meaning and you you know you'll be quicker with your cuts. You know, you'll just be like real like efficient, you know what I'm saying? Like butter blend. So I advise you guys to really invest into yourself and buy a clipper um, that's like the top clipper in the industry. Neither one of these clippers will go wrong, but you really have to invest in yourself to know which clipper really works for you. Because once you find that clipper that really works for you, I mean, your work is just gonna improve greatly. And all you have to do is find somebody that's using that clipper and find out the system that they're using and kind of implement it in, into your way of cutting. And then you will come up with your own system eventually if theirs doesn't work for you. But just really, you know, invest in yourself. That's what I want to say to all my young kings out there that cut hair, my young kings and queens, go cop you. 
some freaking good clippers. Don't be scared to spend money on yourself. It's gonna pay off. It's your boy Josh. I appreciate you guys for watching the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on this video and leave a comment on what you think about this video. Which one is your favorite clipper if you tried all of them or if you haven't? Which one has been your best experience? Let me know in the comments. I'm gonna get down there and chat with you guys. Follow me on Instagram at JoshXBarber like you guys see on the top of the video. It's your boy Josh and I'm out.